Hey everybody. So I'm starting something new. Um, I figured move to Florida. Got to try something new. Um, instead of blogging, I'm going to try this whole vlogging thing. Um, we've got a MacBook, so I figure I might as well. Um, so I just want to say hello. And if you haven't been on my channel, it's Muscle Girl Fusion. And uh, I created it a couple years ago and started blogging on it about two years ago. Took a little break, um, just kind of figuring life out, aren't we all? <laughs> um, and just recently, about a month and a half ago, my husband and I decided to move to Florida from Chicago. And now we're living in Tampa, Florida, and it is sunny and in the 90s every single day. We couldn't ask for anything better. Um, since we left Chicago, it's been kind of gloomy, which we were both kind of happy we left. <laughs> we miss our family and our friends, but in all honesty, this is where we feel like we belong. Um, so saying that, month and a half, took a while to get back on track, but now I'm really trying to get back on. Um, I did my first shred about a week or two ago, two weeks ago, and it went really well. It was the first time I did a full on, like did everything, all the steps for the shred since uh, September. So I really liked that and it helped. I was feeling very bloated. I was eating uncontrollably and we'd go out drinking most weekends. And um, I feel like I've got more of a grasp now of what I would like to do going forward because I am going on a cruise in September and I want to lose some weight for that. Who doesn't want to lose weight before vacation? So I figure I've got plenty of time. I've got all of June, July, August, and the cruise is at the end of September. So we've got three and a half months. I can do it. And I want you guys to follow me along on my journey and to see all the results that I'm hoping to get. And um, I'm definitely going to be creating a plan, um, writing down my goals. And um, I'm currently... One of my first steps is to work with a trainer. So I found a trainer out here that I actually really like and that I needed. Um, and when I say needed, I needed him because I stopped doing legs for probably about two or three months. And just because I want to take a break, I just felt like I was kind of three years of overdoing things and just kind of not following the diet like I should. So working out was a lot harder. Um, but now I want to get back and this guy focuses on corrective exercises and um, most of the workouts are there to help me and help my body um, continue to lift but in a safe way and kind of help out with some of the issues I've been having. Um, I noticed that my right knee when I do cer uh, certain squats like goblet squats um, puts a lot of pressure on it and it's not so much the knee my quad is very tight so he focuses a lot on rolling and dynamic stretches and then a lot of the exercises that we're doing are a lot of hit stuff so um and circuit stuff so we're doing like three to four different exercises in one circuit and we do that about three times and a lot of it helps it's not a lot of heavy strength it's not strength training per se it's more um, mobility training and um, just kind of building up the stability again so that's been really good and I was so happy that I found him because a regular trainer right now isn't what I need um, strength isn't what I'm focusing on and he knows my goals and I'm hoping that I'm gonna be working with him twice a week for the next three months and I'm hoping that I can see some good results so far so good um, the next thing that is going to be on my game plan is diet. <laughs> it's probably the hardest part out here. All we want to do is go to new restaurants and new places and everywhere out here has like super nice fun bars and you're on the water, you're at the beach and what does everybody do at the beach? We all drink. <laughs> kind of is what it is, but I'm super excited to, um, try to focus more. Work has been... It's nice to have work again because work definitely keeps me a lot more stable when it comes to diet because it's more of a routine and I do the same thing every day. So, and that's how I function, routine. I, I need the routine. If I don't have it, I just kind of go crazy. Um, like the two and a half weeks I wasn't working from moving to Chicago to Florida, I, I probably put on 10, 15 pounds and it was a lot of it was water weight, but I wasn't watching what I was eating. I wasn't eating right. Um, it was just not good. <laughs> I wasn't happy. 
Um, but I'm starting to feel better. And because I have that focus and because I did that shred, I am also planning on shredding again in June. Um, if you want to join me, you're more than welcome to. The second, I'm not doing it with the group. I'm going to be doing it the week after the group. My parents are coming into town and I want to be able to enjoy my time. Um, not go crazy, but I want to still be able to um, do a full shred and be able to follow all the guidelines. Um, so that will start, I believe it's June 10th. So if you want to join, you're more than welcome to. Shoot me a message and um, I look forward to shredding with you. Um, if you haven't done a shred, you could still shoot me a message and I'll explain it to you. I'll send you the guidelines. You don't need to buy anything. Um, it's just eating whole foods more and eliminating uh, stuff that is inflammatory to our bodies. And it definitely just gives you a good kickstart. It helps you um, to bloat. It helps you just feel more energetic, feel better. It just gets you off on the right track. Um, so that being said, it's hard to do a shred and live it. There is a live it section and I tried it. I think I did it for like three or four days after my 10 day shred. And then the next weekend hit and life took over again. And that's just how it is. So for myself, I have a realistic goal set to lose about one to two pounds a week for the next um, three months. And if I can't do it, I'm giving myself what I've been writing down is I want to lose 10 pounds by mid July and I want to have 20 pounds off by mid September. So that's about 17 weeks. So if I don't hit the one pound, it's fine. One pound every week, I will live. Um, Cause that's just how weight loss is. It's not always down, 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 down. No, it's gonna go like this. It will always be a wave. You'll lose two pounds, you'll gain a pound, and then maybe you'll lose another pound and a half, and then maybe you'll gain like, I don't know, another quarter pound or something. Um, but it's if you wanna live it and you want it to be consistent, it's not gonna look just straight down. So um, I'm being realistic with myself. I'm trying to make the smarter choices and um, I'm hoping that it works. But um, I've been going on for long enough. <laughs> And uh, I do like this vlogging thing. I think I'm going to continue weekly. Um, game plans put it out Sunday or Monday. Um, today will probably be on Sunday. Um, and tomorrow is Memorial Day. I hope everybody has a fun Memorial Day and uh, you make smart choices. Like I'm gonna try to make smart choices. And uh, I look forward to hearing from any of you if you wanna shred with me in June. Um, you can just shoot me a message or comment below and I will talk to you all later. Bye.